say buying local is important, especially this time of the year. The shopping season is here, and if you're looking for some made in Michigan products, perfect for the holiday shopping or really any time, we have Franklin joining us again this morning to talk to us about just a few, a handful, and yes, sometimes Franklin, I know we kind of focus on the east side of the state, but we're, we got some on the west side too this time. Oh yeah, we, we got it from all over the place today. All the way even up to the UP. So let's start first with St. Ambrose Cellars. I mean, it's kind of like the, the mead season, delicious. right? Delicious. Yes. Yes, it's delicious. They've got meads. They've got uh, 6,000 beehives making about 400,000 pounds of honey each year. And they use a lot of it to make meads, beers, and wines. This one is John Lemon mead, draft mead. It's delicious. And they make these and they ship them all over the U.S. They're available all over. And uh, probably about right now, now, the bees are on their way to Florida. <laughs> hey, for those who aren't familiar with what mead really is, I mean, it is a sweet drink. It is very sweet. The honey makes it, the, gives it the sweetness. And then St. Ambrose puts their own old flavors in it. And it's the oldest fermented alcoholic beverage known to man. So it's been around for a very, very long time. And there's other places, you know, everyone puts their own little expression on it, but this is definitely the best. And you can go there and get a tour if you like. And it's it's a fun place to visit. And this is up in Beulah, Michigan. All right, from Beulah, we had, uh, now we're going UP all the way, because it's the it, pasties are a UP specialty. But uh, Uncle Peter's got three locations all over Michigan. Talk to us about Uncle Peter's pasties. They do, and it, what's the funny part is they make some of the best pasties I've ever had, and yet they're local to the southeast Michigan area, but they bring the UP to us. Now, in, in I guess, celebration of hunting season, I'm carrying I'm here a venison pasty. It's absolutely delicious. They have buffalo, elk, a breakfast egg pasty, which is delicious. They have an apple tart pasty. They have lamb. Uh, a, a pepperoni pasty. There's just so many different varieties of pasties, and they make so many different things that you can take home. Great soups and everything. It's just, a, and these are shipped. I think they're all over the Midwest now. They're just, they're a good, hearty meal. It's yeah, delicious. Those pasties. I tell you, I've seen pasties before, but I don't think I've ever seen one with that much meat. We saw some images there. Those are really chock full. Now. There is, something, there, are. Yeah, there is something that I have tried that uh, we're about to talk about next. And both Leanne and I do enjoy these cask and kettle hard coffees and cider. They're so convenient because they come in pods and we're all using these pods for our coffee already. Exactly, exactly. And if you get over to the Meyer of the Walmart near you, they've got the new one is out, the mint patty. And it's delicious. It's like a liquor flavored york peppermint patty it's just really delicious and again like you said you just put them in any sort of keurig machine or, or keurig like machine i should say and you can make your own uh restaurant quality hard coffee at home and they've got a cider or you can just kettle some water on the stove or even nuke it i guess and there you go you've got a great tasting beverage at home yep. and now these cupcakes up front can can you see those cupcakes? Yep, okay. Those cupcakes are actually, the frosting uses some of the, the actual alcohol from these pods. So you've got alcohol in the frosting on regular baked cupcakes. And they're delicious. <laughs> you, you get a little, you know. Take the edge you off. You get a little bit of everything. The good <laughs> right. cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> Keep those cupcakes and away from the and kids. they're easy to make. You can... Yeah. Well, unless you want them to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I no. probably shouldn't say that. Yeah, we kid, we kid, we kid. Yeah, those are definitely the grown-up cupcakes. Hey, the Holland Bull Mill, finally. We're staying on the yes, west side of the absolutely. state. Going right to the heart of Holland. Tell us about nope. that. This one here, this is Holland Bull Mill. This is in Holland, Michigan, and they've been turning bowls for, I think it's almost 100 years now, and they're absolutely incredible. They make plates. They make bowls. If you can see here, we have a, a state of Michigan-shaped bowl. They have these beautiful little bowls for, like, I guess you could eat cereal out of this, or you could have a small salad with this. And it's just the feel. is You can, you can tell that this is handmade, and they use beeswax oil 
to uh, put that nice finish on them. And they have tours anytime you want, any time of the day. All you got to do is walk in and say, hey, can I have a tour? And they'll walk you through. And being an old woodworker, me, I, I was like, can I do that? And he goes, well, we can't let you run the machines, Franklin. <laughs> I was bummed. <laughs> well, they're absolutely gorgeous. We featured them before. Those Michigan made those heart shaped bowls, they're just amazing. So, Franklin, thank you so much. Not Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. 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 You got everything, not only from the, from the hearty meal, from the pasty to the grown up dessert with the cupcakes and the booze and the frosting and those K cups to, to the bowl to serve it in, all made right here in Michigan. Franklin, thank you so much for the time this morning. Yes, take care.